It's very, very stinky. I can smell it from here. God, put this lid back on. Well, we're fish on. And this guy is just resting in the net. So he's probably ready to have a look at. Hi folks and welcome back to the River Foss Fishing YouTube channel. Today's session is going to be a bit of a different one and actually a first for the channel. Um, I've been at work all day and you know for the last few days so I haven't had a huge amount of time to get out but I'm out tonight. It's just getting dark maybe 40 minutes before the sun sets and then I'll probably fish into dark as well to maximise the amount of time I've got on the bank today. Uh, hoping for something like a chub and we've got some stinky baits we can fish to entice them in and we'll see if we can get into anything. It's still very flooded down here even though the water level's dropped quite a bit. So I've got some thigh waders on and um, hopefully they'll get us down to the river bank without getting too wet. Well, just getting down here now and the river is actually still a lot higher than the surrounding fields so the runoff is still going into the fields. I was hoping it was going to be going back the other way and the water level in the river would have dropped a lot but not to worry that's why I've got waders on so we can stand in water for most of this session probably. Anyway we'll get down there I don't think there'll be very much to see because obviously it's going to be dark soon. So I'll just switch the cameras on if we catch some fish. I've got torches and that, so we should be all right. So um, let's get into position. Well, I'm all set up and out fishing now. I picked a spot where I've had some good luck in the past. Uh, the rod is out, I'm fishing bread at the moment, so just a big, big bit squeezed around the hook to start with and some liquidised bread in the feeder to try and kick things off and maybe get that one early fish. When it gets a little bit darker and I can't see the end of the rod, I've got some little glow sticks that I can put on and I'll probably switch over to cheese paste then, something a bit smellier in the dark. We'll see what we can pick up. Well, what you can't see is there's an amazing full moon tonight which is providing so much light I almost don't need the torches when I'm walking around and there's a thin sort of mist coming in as well so it's creating a really really interesting atmosphere out here but you can really feel the temperature is dropping so I don't know how much longer I'm going to give it maybe an hour or so and then I'll head for home. Well this is going to be my bait of choice for the night. I've got two different varieties of cheese paste. One is like a Stilton one and then one has some garlic in it as well. So um, it's very, very stinky. I can smell it from here. God, I'll put this lid back on. I'm sure the chub will like it. You can't tell because everything is dark, but I've actually moved swims. I spent probably an hour in that first spot and it just wasn't happening, no bites, no indications. So I've come up the bank a little way, closer to home, and I'm fishing towards an overhanging tree on the opposite bank. So hopefully there's some chub and some fish all in those roots there, and we can have something on the bank before not too long. Well, we're fish on.
Yes, in the net he goes. <laughs> well, oh, it's a chub, it's a good chub. Brilliant. Oh. Oh, that's lucky because he spat the hook out. So the hook is here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Well, after a few sort of missed bites and little twitches and things like that, we finally managed to catch a chub. Oh. There he is, one nice chub, a couple of pounds, two and a half maybe, not enormous, but very, very welcome on a cold, misty night. Well, I just had a little glimpse of the otter trundling downstream, which is always really nice, especially in uh, yeah, the moonlight, incredible views. So all the fog and stuff is thickening up, it's starting to press around quite a lot. So I'm going to roll into the last five minutes, pack away my rod and start to head up the bank while I can still just about see some of the landmarks around here and trees and things like that. Still time for one last fish. We'll see. Well, I managed to get back over those flooded fields in the dark and I'm now in my car, as you can probably see. I'm more than happy with that session. You know, it was just for a few hours after work into darkness and to land a fish was absolutely brilliant. It makes all the little sessions like this worthwhile. So I hope you've enjoyed this slightly different episode. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And I hope to see you in a future video and thank you for watching.